morning everybody. Um, today I'm showing you how to use the website flat.io which is a way to compose music. So I just went to flat.io and I created an account with my Google email address and now I'm just going to hit new score or tab and we're going to call this the pentatonic tutorial. I am going to be uh, choosing a trumpet, but you can choose whatever instrument you are going to be creating this song for. And I'm going to hit create. So um, before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and put in some things. I know that I want my whole song to be 16 measures long. So I'm going to go to measure and I'm going to go to insert measure after. And I'm going to add the rest of the measures I need. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm oh, sorry, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the first eight measures here are going to be my A theme, and the second are going to be my B theme. So now I'm going to go back to note. I need to fix my key signature before I get too far. So I'm going to click on the key signature and I'm going to change it to um, the key of concert B flat, which um, normally would look like this. If I play the flute, the trombone, the tuba, it's going to have two flats. But for me, I'm, I'm a trumpet player. I'm going to click that one. If you don't know which one, uh, let me know and I can help you out with that. So um, the easiest way to put notes on my staff is just by clicking on them and dragging them where I want them to go. So the first measure I'm going to make is just a regular uh, pentatonic scale. That's not what I wanted. So I'm going to click on that note. And I can use the arrows on my keyboard to push it up to where I wanted. I also wanted that to be a half note. So I'm going to click on that and make it a half note. Be careful if this is highlighted, any note you click on, it's going to change to that kind of note. So now I'm going to click on this rest. And I'm actually going to add in some just eighth notes. Let's do this. This one is a C. So now I have the first part of my A theme, so I'm going to listen to it by pressing this play button. Oh, sorry. I have to click on the note. Wherever that little teardrop is, that's where it's going to play from. composing, I can use any of these five notes. So I could play my A down here. I could play the A two ledger lines and the G. I just want to make sure that these are notes that I can play because I'm the one performing this. So let's say that my song is totally finished and I want to share it um, with Miss T. I have two different options. I can click this button, the download button, and I can make a PDF. Or I can go here and just share it and copy a private shareable link. And then I can go back and put it in in my assignment. 
So it's really a cool program and um, it, it's, it would be really fun for you if you chose to use it for your assignment. If you have any questions about it, uh, send me a message and I can try to figure it out. Today is the first day I've used it, so this is like the fourth video I've shot because I keep finding new things. Um, but I will do the best I can for you. So um, anyway, that's it for today.